Okay, this video is going to go over update that was made to the Geometry Points app. So this is talking about version 1.0.1.3. 1 um, so there's quite a bit of updates, so I figured it was worth a, a video. I'm not going to go over all the functionality. You can check out the previous videos on that. Um, so first, a couple things that I added um, was under the alignments, you now have the ability to remove selected to clean your list up a little bit. Um, previously, you could get rid of the nulls that were just kind of in the way. Um, but this will actually uh, remove them, and then uh, if you wanted to get those back, you'd have to close and uh, restart this application. Um, this is going to help you a little bit later on when I go over some new functionality. Um, the other thing I added was at your Paris column per request. Uh, so uh, what this will do is just show you the attribute pairs. So if I kind of filter this or sort this, you'll see um, these points have the attribute pairs on there. So they're just um, put together, uh, broken up by this uh, bar symbol. Uh, so there's that. So hopefully that's useful to you guys. Um, the other thing I added was I changed the, uh, or I added a preference for alternate station output. Um, so what this will do is change the way it outputs um, station values, mainly if it's beyond uh, the extents of an alignment. Um, so if I just do a station officer report here, uh, you'll see um, uh, this one is actually within the limits. Let me pick another one. Let's see. Okay. Um, so with this on, uh, if it's beyond the alignment, what it'll do is it'll tell you by how far. All right. So um, this is a positive value, so it tells me it's it's beyond the end. If it was a negative value, it'd be um, before the start. Um, so this point is beyond the alignment by you know this many feet. Um, so it's going to give you that station value. Um, so this will be like the end station of that alignment, and then you extend additional this many tangential feet past the end of of your alignment, and then it'll let you know that it's beyond alignment. Um, previously, what the app did um, was it just showed this. So it gave you some hypothetical um, station that doesn't exist. Uh, basically just adding these two together um, and and then just says extended so uh, by default this is going to be checked on I think that's a better output it gives you a little bit better idea of what's going on here um, but I left the old one in there in case somebody wanted wanted those okay um, so next um, is the monument uh, points filter and monument report uh, so I've took the functionality of the uh, old monument report app that we had um, and threw it into here just uh, to make it a little bit easier. And so the whole goal here is, let me get rid of that, is to be able to paste your monument um, values into the Survey Master Monument Table tab, right? Um, so that's what this will do. So this filter kind of filters the points down a little bit more. Um, now, the monument report uh, will copy the table to the clipboard. Uh, but before we do that, I wanted to go over a new column and that is the alignment station offset column. Um, so what this will do is give you the ability to say this point is, um, give me the station offset for this alignment. Um, and so what now what you notice is that right now the information is not populated. So I hit the drop down, they all, all these uh, alignments aren't populated. And you notice that it's only gonna list what's listed here. So if I remove some more from here, this list is gonna, gonna get smaller too. Okay. Um, so that'll actually speed up processing too, because that's why I don't have these auto populated, because it just takes a lot longer. So I added a button instead. So when you click this button, it'll go through only the displayed rows and populate the station offset values um, for all the alignments in the list. And then it will sort from shortest to longest, so what's the closest to your point, um, as well as it'll default to the closest alignment for you automatically. Um, so that's what that button does, and you need to do that before you hit this monument report app um, because you need these values populated for um, this report where it asks for the station offset left, right, right? Um, so you want to do that first, go through, maybe you, you need to fix a couple of the, the, the alignments that it defaulted to, um, but then if you have nothing selected and you hit this button, everything in the display, 
I'll get copied, but if you do have a selection set here, whatever rows are selected would be the only rows that are used. Um, so I'm going to have no nothing selected. I'll hit the monument report. It tells me to copy to the clipboard. I come over here, and I can just simply paste that value in, and nicely um, all lines up. Um, the, mon the point type is not something that we have. You've always had to fill it out manually. But other than that, uh, hopefully that makes it a little bit easier to populate this table here. Also notice that this display is affected by your um, preference up here. So if I check that off, you'll see it goes back to to a similar where it shows you that hypothetical station. Um, so that's kind of carried out through the whole app there. All right, so the last thing I added was the ability to do custom reports. So when you first get in here, you're going to notice that this custom report dropdown is blank. That's because there are no reports that's for the user to create if they wanted to so you come here to custom reports and you open up this dialog and you can create your custom reports uh, so very easy you just hit new report click on it when you click on that row you can change the name All right um, you can add more now do note that you can't have two reports with the same name so it's going to go red you won't be able to save it um, so you delete that Okay. Um, so when you click on a given report, it's going to populate this over here. Um, and so these are all the available columns that you can have in this app to generate a report. So all you have to do is click on the ones you want. You know, maybe you want station, absolute offset side, and then you can just drag to reorder, you know, however you want. Um, I want the alignment name. Um, and so you kind of just drag drag to reorder to set your um, the way the way you want the table to go. And then when you're done, you can hit save reports. If you don't hit save reports, it will not save. So if you close this, uh, you don't hit save, you're going to lose all your work. So let me delete that report out. I'll hit save, I'll close that, and now this drop down will have all my custom reports. So I click on that, and once you know, once you have one selected, this this button will be enabled. So this button's going to work the same way the monitor report button is. If you have nothing selected, then it'll use everything in your display. Uh, but if you have a selection set, then it'll only use those rows. So if I click that, hit custom report, it copied that to the clipboard. So uh, maybe I just want to paste this into Word or something or Excel. So bring it over here and we can just paste um, so it's going to be tab whoops separated so it'll go better into excel than anywhere else um, so if i just throw it into excel you'll see that it'll be separated by columns there for you automatically so um, that is the update to geometry points app hope you guys like it if you guys want some more columns or or maybe some more report options like for different values of different properties let me know we can always add in more there uh, hopefully you guys find these um, added functionality useful